Melbourne is proudly the most livable city in the world. It's something that we treasure, a city we love, and absolutely vital for the future of our state to maintain Melbourne's livability, its charm, and everything we love about this great city. But we know that Melbourne is changing. We know that by 2051, there'll be a population of 7.7 .7 million people living in Melbourne. We know that between now and 2051, we have to provide 3.7 million jobs. We have to build 1.6 million new homes in and around Melbourne. That's why I'm pleased to be here today to launch Plan Melbourne, to provide direction and leadership for the growth and development of Melbourne, to get the balance right between the livability of Melbourne, protecting the heritage of Melbourne, protecting all that we love about Melbourne, making sure that Melbourne is a great place to live and a great place to do business well into the future. It's also about providing the framework for the interaction between our great capital city and our regional cities that are becoming increasingly important as population and job growth centres themselves, whether it be our regional cities of Ballarat, Bendigo, Geelong, La Trobe, Shepparton, these cities and others across regional and rural Victoria are important in their interaction with Melbourne and the future of Melbourne. It's also about, in Plan Melbourne, having a genuine framework of what we do for key infrastructure to make sure we get our regional rail link project right, to make sure we develop our port capacity to continue Melbourne as the leading freight and logistics centre for Australia and the jobs and economic benefits that flow from that. To put in place the rail capacity we need through the Melbourne Rail Link project and the airport rail link. It's about upgrading the Cranbourne, Pakenham, Dandenong line to service one of the fastest growing areas in Melbourne's growth suburbs to our east. It's about widening the Tullamarine Freeway in consultation with Transurban so that we can cater for the needs of the growing populations to our north and northwest. It's also about delivering East-West Link and particularly delivering that absolutely essential second crossing of the Maribyrnong to provide a, a capacity to cater for the growth in the Wyndham, Ballarat, Geelong areas in Lara and also to take the pressure off the Westgate Bridge and the Monash Corridor. It's also about our project of removing 40 level crossings and we know that under a coalition government there's 40 level crossings that have been removed, are being removed or in advanced planning for removal. So not just talking about projects but delivering projects that make a real difference to the livability of Melbourne, to the productivity of Melbourne, so that we can take this city we love, take this city we cherish, and grow and develop this city, grow and develop the jobs, grow and develop the opportunities, but make sure that we retain everything that is precious to us about Melbourne and its relationship to this great state of Victoria. And our plan, Melbourne, will help Melbourne to grow and develop into a city that we love even more. It is a great document and it's a pleasure to launch it.